Virgo, welcome to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing your reading. It is for the beginning of August. I hope you're doing amazing, Virgo. Thank you for being here. And uh, let's just dive into your reading. Uh, this is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. And uh, thank you so much for liking, subscribing and uh, appreciate hearing from you all as well. So please leave a comment. Uh, I am not doing personal readings for a, a little while. I, I was doing them during uh, June and July, but uh, yeah, I will be busy. However, I aim to be back offering personal readings in September. So I'm just going to give an extra shuffle. We're going to look into your love situation, in your life, uh, wealth, health, all of the good stuff. Let's see what is in store for you, Virgo. But most importantly, I'm looking into a person that is showing up in your energy at the moment. And what are their feelings for you, Virgo? So. Well, you might be dealing with a fellow earth sign this person here is thinking of commitment this person here is, feels like you are their soulmate this person here feels that you know you are very close to their heart you're very close to their soul they feel like you understand them better than anyone else they might have aries or pisces in their chart um there has been uh, perhaps misunderstandings misbehavior something miss uh, you could see this person as missing in action you could see this person as hiding their emotions you know and um, this person might have air elements in their chart you could be receiving uh, an increase in your finances um, Virgo now this person here they feel like you are destined they feel like you are meant to be and uh, it looks like there was someone or something coming in between the two of you. There could be a third party. There could be, um, there's something that was like on the wheel of fortune here, stepping into this connection, stepping in the way. Uh, there could have been lies and deceit here as well, trying to hide um, what was, you know, someone's trying to hide perhaps a relationship and or hiding their feelings for you while being in a relationship. So let's look into what happened there, Virgo. Um, let me see. So um, they could have Aquarius in their chart, potentially. Yep, Aquarius. Um, there's been a timeout between you and them. Now they feel like the wheel is turning and now... There should be another opportunity to reach out to you. That's what they want. They feel like you will cut their head off and maybe you'll bite their head off uh, if they come towards you. Now, this person could have just left you or like, like left you on the battlefield. Uh, their intentions is uh, not to lose, <laughs> but they also want this, uh, they want to make peace here for sure. They want a peaceful resolution. Uh, there's been a bit of a nightmare in this person's life. I feel like that's mm, maybe to do with their own behavior. Um, yeah, there's a person here around you. They are dealing with, I mean, I see they haven't really been dealing with... Uh, things the right way um you know there is uh they are very much in their ego hot tempered um and it looks like they've been uh it looks like something's got them you know caught up with them basically and uh mm, i see that you're dealing with someone that's something caught up with them and i feel this is not even the person that is coming towards you i feel this is someone that's leaving your life perhaps Virgo or have left your life. What else is here? If you're dealing with a, a Leo, uh, Aquarius or Aries, uh, there's something about, okay. Um, so this person here, they do want to come towards you. They feel this connection with you and them, but you know, there is so much hidden, sneaky deception, hiding, avoiding scheming strategy. <laughs> It's not really, yeah, it, this could be, uh, you know, there's, they have lost hope that this can heal here. But they, there is someone here that really wants to win 
uh, at all cost when it comes to this connection here, Virgo. But um, yeah, I I'm picking up this as a karmic person that is has actually left your life. Yeah. So for most of you, um, either you're dealing with someone with a really karmic relationship, um, and this is a third party, but I feel for many of you, Virgo, you're dealing with someone that you do not want in your life at any cost. Like you do not want them in your life, basically, uh, because they have caused pay you pain. They've been insensitive here. They had an opportunity to heal the connection, and I see they didn't do that. And like I see this person here, they might want to come back to argue, um, yeah, they might want to come back to argue. If you're born on the cusp of Libra, perhaps this could this reading, or you have Libra in your chart, this reading could be relevant to you. If you're dealing with someone that's going through a divorce, um, that then it's possible then as them as well. So it, either way, this is someone that is not in a good state of affairs, or, uh, regardless of what's happening. Um, like I mean. Uh, this person, you know who they are, but I think because either it's them just being impossible to deal with or a third party that is extremely impossible to deal with and they haven't really been able to handle a third party, either way, that's what I mean, there is like so much going on around this person that you don't even want to get close, I feel. Like you could kind of try to duck away or hide away from this person. Um, well, let's see. You have a, an opportunity in wealth, like increase in your wealth, uh, Virgo. Judgment, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, there is celebration. There's a victory coming for you, uh, Virgo, for sure. There is a victory, but there is also the Three of Swords. Okay. So someone's giving you a love offer, and this could be a fire sign. There is there is a choice in love for sure here at Virgo. There's definitely a choice in love. But you are keeping your cards close to your chest here. All right, so this feels like quite a personal reading. So for some of you, if you're dealing with an Aries, this Aries could be a father figure. This person could have abused their kind of, how can I say, uh, things are not going so well if they're in a third party situation. You might have been in a relationship with this person in the past and you were hoping, okay, maybe me and this person can resolve this. Um, but there, it seems like you cannot really resolve the situation with this person. Like you have feelings for someone that could be in your environment as well. Uh, I feel there is a triumph in love and I feel that once you decide, Virgo, what you want to do or someone decides, the two of you will be together, but it will hurt someone. I see someone have feelings for you. They want this new chapter with you and they're going to express that they, they're the new chapter, you know, that what they want basically. I'm seeing that uh, your intentions is to have this new beginning. But I feel there could be a risk. There's something about a risk, risky business. I don't know why that is. It could be to do because someone could be dealing with a difficult situation like a divorce or someone is like really going through a hardship of some kind. They could tell you about it. So you could be like, okay, I'll support you. Like okay, I won't tell what you're doing or something like that, but maybe be a bit careful with that because someone had too much to hide. Like they could be trying to brush everything under the carpet because they, you know, they can't ha tackle or handle a, a third party situation. Like it's just gone over their head and they're like, okay, everything's fine. But when it's not really fine here, um, I see something is going to come to light about someone's secrecy and uh, unfair business. Like it's someone is lying and scheming and like it's just a matter of time before this person will be revealed for sure here. Uh, and like what they're doing is just kind of 
almost like an out in the open daylight robbery. You're seeing it and you're seeing it as unfair and you are like quite fed up with it. But I see that like the thoughts and everything will disappear. This person here, there will be caught, I feel. Uh, with the two of cups, there is union with you and someone. This could be a Capricorn. Uh, this could also be a new romance. Uh, we have the devil here as well. Um, so let's see here. Yeah, this could be an Aries or... Capricorn that you're dealing with. Why is the page of pen once there? Sorry. So there is someone here holding on to you for their life here. They want this new beginning. They have like deep love for you. There's almost like a frantic, like, oh, I really hope we have this new beginning. All right, because my life depends on it. <laughs> so that could be sweet as well, in a way. It looks like here, this could be love at work. I do see something coming together. You're, they are like, I really hope Virgo is like going to be there for me. And like, if not, I'm going to die. <clears throat> it's like really frantically holding on to you. I do feel, Virgo, there is a third party around the situation. Like someone is like, do you, do you think they followed me? Like they are in a nightmare. I feel like they are in a nightmare. They're coming to you. So you are happy about it, but they just are running from something all the time. And you are like, okay, well, it's not you running from something and you're happy that they're in love with you, but you can't really enjoy this person's company because they're all nervous. So that's for some of you, like this person is is really nervous, you know, it's, they can't really, they can't really enjoy the party, they can't really enjoy your company if they, they haven't sorted something out here, if, especially if they've been running away from, you know, if they're like, okay, I can't deal with anything anymore, now I'm just going to go crazy and like, okay, someone is like uh, giving me pain, but but you are like, well, you need to deal with it, you know, so, so they could be quite restless here, but it's like, yeah. So they're coming over to you to get your help. <laughs> I see there's a, a lot of love between the two of you. You have a telepathic connection as well. And they want to, um, uh, you know, have a new beginning. But there is an elephant in the room. And who's going to deal with the elephant? Because the elephant isn't going to go anywhere unless someone does uh, remove it. Uh, that's for sure. Uh, they could have a child. It's like they're trying to get away with something temporarily. And now, like, they have to, to get away. See, they're trying to... They are like, okay, let's just run. <laughs> they have someone is running after them in, in a way. Why why is that here? Um, let's have a look. Yeah, so I see here, okay, something's gone sour in there. If you're dealing with the Leo or Aries, something's gone sour with them and a the Gemini uh, and like they just don't know how to deal with it. Like it's getting difficult. See, they have deep love for you and they want to come towards you and express love to you. But this relationship has to end first. Like they have to end it on, you know, they have to to see the cycle through, but they just want to run over to you and they probably will run over to you and they will run away from their problems for a little while, but their problems are going to run after them. So it looks like, you know, it's like if they, they're running away just for the weekend or something uh, to get away from like this troubled waters that, that is all around them. But it looks like they're going to have to go back and face the music here. But I do see the two of you connecting Virgo. Um, yeah, you have a few offers as well, or you're not you're not sure, you're not really seeing this person as, okay, they are yours, or like, you know, okay, this is, you're not really seeing it as happily ever after, I'm, I see that you enjoy their company, you, you have unconditional love for them, but it's something about their unfinished business, it's just like, it hasn't, they haven't finished something where they are, and it's kind of, you know that you can't really plan anything with them. You don't want to be hiding. It's like you don't want to be hiding away from people. Like you might want to move into a relationship, but right now it could seem that the relationship is almost a taboo because like someone has not ended a relationship properly and there are some kind of trouble around them. So that's not an ideal situation. And like, you know that you're hurting people people as well now because there is a choice in love here there is someone here maybe a libra or gemini someone will let go of to move into this new beginning uh so you uh, could be dealing with a leo aries pisces okay let's see what else we got here Yeah, karmic relationship here needs to go, and old school. Yeah, there's a really uh, 
old school relationship, narcissistic, cutting out. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's that's there. I feel that's around you, a Virgo. It's like okay, you have to let you have to deal with it. You have to let it go, or someone have to let it go. It's just consuming this uh, connection here. It's in the way. Um, yeah. Like you get stressed about it and then you're like, oh, imagine if this comes to light. You're like, oh gosh, I don't want to be sneaking around. But your intentions is to, you know, keep the flame going as well. Um, but, you know, there is here, yeah, the, the cycle has to close uh, for this soulmate connection uh, connection to come together. Like you and you and this person. So, yeah, so someone is releasing an ex there. Sorry, my cards just went all messy now. Uh, yeah, <laughs> someone is releasing an ex and... Um, yeah, for this soulmate connection to get together, a message of concern. You know, you are dealing with some, someone is dealing with a third party that is just like something else, dealing with someone really reckless. Like they, they have no shame. Uh, like they have no, yeah, they have no shame what they will not do basically. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm picking up here. Um, uh, but I feel like you and this person are reconciling, you and this person know each other before, there is an ending, but like the red flags and the religious factors, there is a lot going on around this ending, there's a lot of people involved, if they're married, it's like, yeah, there's a lot of uh, blame and blames and games around, I'm just seeing like it's just so much drama around the situation, let's have a look at your feelings of Virgo, you have the Seven of Swords, coming up yeah see you are in hermit you're pulling away from the situation to travel to calmer waters you know what you want and what you've manifested but you're not going to go for it at all cost uh i see here you know so it might be that mm, i do see that you and this person communicating uh, i see you're meeting up i see there's a lot of attraction uh towards one another i see both of you want a family you want to reunite you want to build extend the family as well this person could be born in Sagittarius. Sagittarius Gemini is coming up. Mm, but I see just there is difficulties with, yeah, there is something about a third party. Like you, definitely if you're dealing with an Aries or a Leo, then there is some issues uh, with this third party. Like someone is holding on to them, but it's more than just holding on. It's not out of love. It's like the response, there is like a whole... This is someone that will just not let go or give up on them without getting, creating some kind of drama here. Uh, they, they know that you have the strength to tackle whatever drama it is, but this someone here, they, they're they hoping that you won't be able to, to, to handle this person, right? Um, See, they've been acting reckless, um, you know, they've been acting reckless for their happiness with you, which is kind of, you know, sweet as well. But at the same time, they, they're they leaving like <laughs> loose ends, <laughs> loose ends here um, as they come over to you, <laughs> Virgo. Um, but then when they're with you, they just lose their mind. They just forget about everything else, like they're in their own bubble when they're with you, right? And then you are the one that's reminding them, well, you have to do things properly. Like they do uh, find that you are the voice of reason, Virgo. They do find that you are the person that, you know, they will listen to anything you say. They know that you are kind. They know that you mean well too, but you are still their bubble of escape at this time where they just want to hide and stay, uh, you know, someone from your, your, um, past is returning to your life here the lovers so it's deep a deep connection here there's a message of concern that i think your person is receiving someone is after them like they can't really get away from from like they have to resolve something here see there is a bit of chaos so so you see at the moment you you have deep feelings for them virgo but you just see that okay i can't really I can't really start planning anything here for the future because yes, it's happy love and I love, you know, this person, but we need to remove the elephant in the room, which is the, the third party here. It's like they literally are an obstruction to this connection. I don't know. It doesn't have to be like a, a third party, even that is, you know, <laughs> the stereotypical third party. It can also be someone else. Like it can be many different situations, but the, they are someone is just 
uh, refusing to let go of your person. Um, they are all, all, always around and they are controlling them. Hmm. What else? Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, this card's fell. Yeah, so there's someone here that is stealing their strength here. Sorry. And, um, yeah, they are causing a lot of havoc. I see that is a big problem uh, here. And uh, they are holding on to them. If It could be a Libra, a female Libra or something like that. Or it could be someone that isn't allowing them to get a divorce. Yeah, they, this connection here cannot heal, basically. But it does look like they are going to, to leave the situation behind. For some of you who are dealing with someone that's dealing with a mother figure here. What else, what else? Yeah, I see as well, like someone has a lot of shame because they plan their future with this person and they might have moved in too quickly. They might have moved out of a relation. Some of you could have been in a relationship with them before and they're just like, okay, well, it's over. I'm gonna settle down with someone else. And they never really settled down with their heart. They settled down, uh, okay, maybe they promised to marry someone. Maybe, maybe they, they said, oh, we can have children or something. They promised too much, but they never, they never open their heart here. And uh, now that's causing, you know, when their feelings are coming to light, it's causing problems here because their real feelings uh, is with you, Virgo, and they are going to reveal that to this person and someone here is just not having it. They are just not having it. They think that they can control their feelings here, which is making it even worse. So there's a message, like there's almost like a message of, like threat they're sending to them. So they're a little bit mad, going a little bit mad here. So uh, yeah, Virgo, these were the messages I've had for you, uh, I have for you. And um, yeah, please like, subscribe and uh, leave um, a comment.